Hi friends. Today I will explain about resource monitors in Snowflake. So what is a resource monitor? So uh, as you already know, a virtual warehouse consumes Snowflake credits while it runs, right? So if we want to run any queries, we use virtual warehouse and whenever virtual warehouse is up and running, it will consume some credits, right? And that number of credits consumed depends on the size of the warehouse and how long it runs. You know, there are different sizes of virtual, virtual warehouse starting from extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, double XL like that. So the number of credits consumed definitely depends on the size of the virtual warehouse and how long the query is running, right? So <clears throat> now a resource monitor can be used to monitor credit usage by virtual warehouse and the cloud services needed to support those warehouses. So what virtual, what a resource monitor will do? It will be tracking all the credit uses by the virtual warehouses as well as the cloud services. So these resource monitors helps in controlling the cost and avoid unexpected credit usage. So by using virtual, by using these resource monitors, we can set a limit of credits. Okay. So whenever it, it is meeting that uh, limit okay it will send some notifications or suspend the virtual warehouse those are the actions of resource monitor we'll see in the next slide but what is the use of virtual uh, what is the use of resource monitor resource monitors helps in controlling the cost and avoid the unexpected credit usage okay so let me explain uh, with uh, one of the example i have faced in in the real time okay so while I was making a video uh, on the tasks and streams, okay, I have scheduled a task to run it for every one minute, okay, and uh, um, after the completion of video, I forgot to remove the task. So in the background, the task was running for every one minute, and I did not uh, uh, log into my Snowflake account for two days. So after that, after two days, when I logged in. So all my credits got consumed. Why? In the background, the task was running for every minute and it consumed all the credits. So it, it, it has consumed more than uh, 100 credits. So we cannot do anything in that case, right? So now we have a solution for that. Resource monitors is the solution to track the credit usage. So if we set resource monitors on the virtual warehouse, it will be tracking all the credit consumptions and we can set some actions. We'll see those actions in the next slides. Okay. So in resource monitors, we can set credit limits. We can set the credit lim limits set for a specified interval and date range. When these limits are reached or approaching, the resource monitors can trigger various actions such as sending alerts and suspending warehouses, whatever I just explained. We'll see in detail in the next slides. Resource monitors can only be created by account administrators or with the roles that has admin privileges. Yeah, only account admin uh, can create these resource monitors or the one who has the admin privileges role, they can create the resource monitors. So these are the properties of resource monitors, okay? So resource monitor is a snowflake object that contains below properties. The properties are credit quota, monitor type, schedule and actions. So what is the significance of these properties? We'll see. So first of all, the credit quota. What is meant by credit quota? Okay. Credit quota specifies the number of snowflake credits allocated to the monitor for the specified frequency interval. We can specify any number that means suppose uh, if i want to uh, if i put some thousand credits as the quota credit quota as thousand credits that means so the monitor will be tracking the warehouses and when it meets that thousand credits okay it will perform some action like sending alert notification or uh, uh, suspending the virtual warehouse like that so the credit quota is the limit we are putting on the credit usage, credit usage tracking. Okay. In addition, Snowflake tracks the used credits or quota 
within the specified frequency interval by all warehouses assigned to the monitor after the specified interval this number is set back to zero so in the real time if i want to track the credit usage monthly that means every month i want to uh, track this credit usage so what i can do i can set the frequency interval as one month and after one month what will what will happen so one month is completed so i i am setting the credit quota as thousand credits after one month again suppose in that one month we have used almost 900 credits after that one month again it will reset back to zero that number that credit uh, tracking will be reset back to zero and it will be it will be starting from the first of the month again so if we set uh, uh, frequency as weekly then after one week again the uh, uh, credit tracking will be set to zero like that so based on the frequency we are setting again th that uh, credit tracking will be reset to zero it can be a daily frequency it can be a weekly or it can be a monthly or it can be a never ending we'll see that in the next slides okay so whenever that uh, fr frequency interval is completed again the credit uh, tracking will be reset back to zero so credit quota accounts for credits consumed by both user managed virtual warehouses and the virtual warehouses used by the cloud services okay so whatever the quota we are setting uh, it will be both for uh, the credits consumed by our virtual warehouses as well as the cloud services okay for example your resource monitor limit is set to 1000 credits if your warehouse consumes 700 credits and the cloud services consumes 300 credits within the specified interval an alert will be triggered suppose in this example uh, we are setting the credit quota as 1000 credits and almost uh, our warehouses consumed 700 credits okay and the cloud services consumed 300 credits within the specified interval uh, just uh, suppose just say it has one month then as our thousand credit quota was completed so the system will send a notification alert notification or it will perform some action saying uh, your credit quota is completed for this month like that okay we'll see in detail so second property is monitor type a resource monitor can be created to monitor credit usage at both account level and the warehouse level suppose if i create a resource monitor at account level it will be tracking all the warehouses suppose if i have four warehouses it will be tracking all the four warehouses and suppose warehouse one is consuming 100 warehouse two is 200 warehouse three is 200 warehouse four is again again 100 so it will club all the all the credit consumption of four warehouses if we set to account level so when we say 100 plus 200 plus 200 plus 100 it will be around 600 so it will say like a credit usage as 600 credits like that so we can set <coughs> credit usage at both account level suppose if i want to set only if i want to track usage of only one virtual warehouse we can set the resource monitor only on that virtual warehouse or if we if i want to set, set it on a set of two warehouses or three warehouses still i can do that so we'll see this in example how we can set at account level and warehouse level so monitor type is nothing but one is account we can set the resource monitor at account level this is one type and warehouse level this is another type suppose if we if this property is not set the resource monitor doesn't monitor any credit usage so if you don't put uh, any monitor type like account level or warehouse level if you just create a resource monitor without this uh, property then the resource monitor doesn't monitor any credit usage because we are not assigning account or warehouses to that resource monitor right it will stay ideal okay so the third one is schedule so what is the schedule the default schedule for a resource monitor specifies that it starts from monitoring the credit usage immediately and the used credit reset back to zero at the beginning of the each calendar month that is start of the standard snowflake billing cycle suppose if we are not specifying any schedule for our resource monitor and we have created our resource monitor just now so it will start tracking the credits from now onwards immediately it will track it will track uh, 
credit usage and it will reset back to zero at the beginning of the calendar month that is first of every month so why the default is first of every month because the start of the standard snowflake billing cycle starts from the first of the every month okay so i hope you understood so if we don't set this property by default it will start immediately and it will be uh, the credits will reset back to zero at the beginning of the every month again after one month it will reset back to zero like that if we don't specify any schedule suppose if i want to specify schedule if i want to customize my schedule for a resource monitor we can use following properties okay suppose we uh, like we have to mention the frequency so it can be a daily or it can be a weekly monthly yearly i can set the frequency and never also i can set never means it will be just using the it uh, okay it will just tracking the credits but it will never reset back to zero assigned warehouses continue using credits until the credit quota is reached okay so suppose if we specify some 2000 credits it will be just tracking until the credit quota is reached but it will it will never reset back to zero it will perform the actions based on the uh, actions we have we, we will specify okay so whenever we mention never okay it will never reset the credit credits okay so it will be keep tracking the consumption of the credits until the credit quota is reached okay and the second one is start so for the schedule there are three properties frequency start and end okay now what is start date and time when resource monitor starts monitoring the assigned warehouses it can be immediately or can be future timestamp so we can set the start time immediately from now onwards or we can set from tomorrow or day after tomorrow like that whenever we want to track the credit usage okay and end date what is mean by end so it is the end what is mean by end property it is date and time when snowflake suspends the warehouses associated with the resource monitor regardless of whether the used credits reached any of the thresholds defined it can be any future and it can be any future timestamp so this is somewhat dangerous property so whenever we set some end date what it will do whenever that end date is reached it will immediately suspend all the resource monitors all the warehouses regardless whether the credit credits reach to any threshold defined so it can be any future timestamp just try to understand so in general we never put some end date if we put some end date once the date is reached what resource monitor will do it will immediately suspend all the virtual warehouses running which is very dangerous because if we have any scheduled task and if the virtual warehouses get suspended all the staff all the tasks will be aborted so never set the end okay so it will be we have to set the property for end as never i will show you that in the um, lab part how we can set it okay so we have to set like uh, we have to set some frequency uh, daily weekly monthly yearly or never and we have to uh, set the start property it can be immediate we can say like it can be immediately or we can mention some timestamp and end we have to set it as never okay so this is about schedule whenever i explain it uh, practically you will get to know okay so actions so whenever the threshold is met or whenever the credit quota is reached okay so what action should be done what actions has to be taken so this property will specify those actions this specifies what action can be taken once it reaches to the credit threshold resource monitor support the following actions these are the actions notify and sus notify and suspend so this whenever we set action as notify and suspend it will send a notification to all account administrators with the notifications enabled so whoever enabled the notifications they will get a alert notification uh, saying that credit uh, uh, threshold is reached and thus and also it suspends all the assigned warehouses after all the statements being executed by the warehouses have completed suppose now uh, now the credit uh, threshold is reached what it will do it it will suspend all the assigned warehouses after the currently running queries completed suppose uh, the time is reached but there are some three or four tasks running in the background 
so what it will do it will wait for those three or four tasks to complete and then it will suspend that virtual warehouse it will not suspend immediately okay so it will what this property will do it will send a notification and then it will suspend the warehouse once the currently running tasks gets completed okay so the next action is notify and suspend immediately so this is same as notify and suspend but it will suspend all the tasks immediately even though they are running that means it will abort the currently running currently running tasks so th this will send a notification to all the <coughs> account administrator who has enabled the notifications at the same time it will suspend all the warehouses immediately even though there are some tasks running in the background it will abort all those tasks it will cancel all those tasks okay so that is the difference between notify suspend and notify suspend immediately whenever we mention suspend then it will wait for the currently running task to complete and then it will suspend the warehouses and if we specify suspend immediately then it will immediately cancel all the uh, currently running tasks and it will immediately suspend that virtual warehouse okay and the last action is notify so this will not take any action but it will just trigger uh, some alert notification to the account administrators okay so these are the three properties and uh, what are all the properties we can specify in the uh, while creating a resource monitor we can specify actions up to we can set one suspend action we can uh, we can set one suspend immediate action and up to five notify actions we can specify that means suppose if we are setting uh, credit quota as 100 uh, 100 credits okay so after 50 credits i want to send a notification i want to send another notification after 70 credits i want to send another notification at 80 credits like that i can send multiple alert notifications right so we can set those notifications like five notifications and we can set one suspend action and one suspend immediate action i will explain this with some examples then you will get you will get to know easily okay so here is an example just try to understand okay so uh, this is my snowflake account the outer part okay and i have five virtual warehouses in my account okay and i am setting one resource monitor this is my resource monitor i am setting one resource monitor for complete account that means it will track all the uh, credits consumed by the five virtual warehouses and i am setting one more virtual one more resource monitor only f tracking the usage of warehouse 3 and i have another resource monitor resource monitor 3 it will be tracking the credit usage by both uh, virtual warehouse 4 and 5 okay so here now i am setting three resource monitor one at account level one for one virtual warehouse and one for two virtual warehouses so so for resource monitor 2 i am setting credit usage as credit quota as a thousand and for resource monitor 3 i am setting the credit quota as 2500 okay so for complete account i am setting the credit quota as 5000 so whenever uh, suppose uh, for the virtual warehouse 3 the credit quota is 1000 and it's uh, completed the 1000 credits completed then it will take some action okay so for uh, suppose the uh, resource monitor 3 it will be tracking the usage of both right virtual warehouse 4 and 5 when the sum of these uh, credits uh, got completed 2500 then it will take some action like sending notifications or uh, uh, suspending the warehouses and suppose for the complete warehouse whenever it it meets 5000 even though here so for resource monitor it reached to 500 for uh, resource monitor 3 it reached to 1000 okay so so 500 plus 1000 is 1500 even though here it is not uh, reaching the threshold but here it reached to 5000 so what it will do even though these are not uh, credit quota is not completed still here the complete uh, the credit quota of uh, complete uh, account got completed so what it will do it will take action whatever we defined like sending notifications or uh, suspending the warehouses suppose when i set the action as a suspend okay suspend immediately notify and suspend immediately what this will do 
even though the credit quota of uh, these two monitors is not completed but the credit quota of uh, this com complete account got completed so it will suspend immediately all the warehouses whatever present in the account it will suspend all the warehouses immediately okay so i hope you are understanding okay so whatever i just explained i mentioned uh, here itself the credit quota for the entire account is 5000 5, for the interval month or weekly whatever we can set as controlled by resource monitor 1 if the credit quota is reached within the interval the actions defined on the resource monitor suspend or suspend immediately are enforced for all five warehouses okay warehouse 3 can consume a maximum of 1000 credits within the interval and warehouse 4 and 5 consume maximum combined total of 2005 2500 credits within the interval whatever i just explained okay <laughs> so warehouse suspension and resumption so this is very important suppose if your monitor has suspend or suspend immediately action defined and it used it has used credits its used credits reached the threshold for the action any warehouse assigned to the monitor are suspended and cannot be resumed until one of the following conditions is met so suppose for any resource monitor i am setting the action as suspend or suspend immediately so what will happen definitely the virtual warehouse will get suspended so how can you resume those uh, suspended virtual warehouses it is very important right so if you suspend the warehouses completely then no task will be running or uh, no queries will be running so how can you resume those uh, suspended virtual warehouses is very important so whenever <coughs> one of the following conditions is met then only they will get uh, resumed the virtual warehouses will get resumed so what are the conditions so the next uh, interval if any starts as uh, dictated by the start date of the monitor so whenever it meets the next uh, interval suppose today uh, is 20 uh, 21st so and uh, it has suspended all the virtual warehouses and i am setting my frequency as monthly starting from the first of the month so for next nine days nothing will be running it will be suspended on the first only whenever it reaches the next time interval then only the virtual warehouses will get resumed they will be up and running okay so it has to meet that next interval or the credit quota for the monitor is increased so you, if you increase the credit quota so again immediately the virtual warehouses get resumed okay suppose uh, we have set as 1000 credits right now i am increasing it to 1500 so what will happen the virtual warehouses will get resumed immediately or the credit threshold for the suspended action is increased so suppose uh, uh, i am saying a threshold as 90 percent whenever 90 percent of the credits used you suspend okay so what i will do i will increase it to 100 percent whenever it reaches to 100 percent then only suspend the virtual warehouse okay so whenever we increase that uh, threshold the virtual warehouses will get resumed and they will be up and running okay or the virtual warehouses are no longer assigned to the monitor so whenever you re remove that virtual warehouse from the resource monitor it will it will be resumed immediately okay so we can assign the virtual warehouses to resource monitor as well as we can remove the virtual warehouses from the resource monitor okay or the monitor is completely dropped so we are creating resource monitors right so if you remove that monitor then the virtual warehouses will be resumed okay so whenever we take some of this action then only the virtual warehouses will be up and running otherwise they will be in the suspend state okay this is very important <coughs> so how can you create the resource monitor so we can create uh, resource monitors in two ways one is by using the web ui and the other way is by using the below sql okay so we can uh, uh, by using the user interface also we can create the virtual virtual uh, sorry resource monitor or by using the sql query also we can create the 
resource monitor okay first let me explain how we can create by using web interface okay then we'll see the query so first of all where the virtual mon what where the resource monitors will present in the snowflake okay so go to admin admin option and here you can see uses warehouses and resource monitor okay so what i did i have created some of the uh, virtual warehouses for our presentation or for our uh, resource monitor explanation i have created some virtual warehouses first of all sample warehouse warehouse finance warehouse hr warehouse it warehouse marketing and warehouse sales so how can you create the virtual warehouse simply click on the virtual warehouse or put some name uh, put the size of the uh, choose the size of the virtual warehouse and create the virtual warehouse okay that's it like that you can simply create the virtual warehouse and now coming to resource monitors okay so here you can see the option create resource monitor okay now let's see how we can create a resource monitor first of all i want to give some name to this resource monitor my resource monitor okay i'm simply giving some name okay and the credit quota so we have to specify some credit quota so i am choosing as thousand okay I am entering thousand as the credit quota and monitor type. I told right these are the properties of resource monitors: credit quota, monitor type, schedule, and actions. So we have to set all these properties for the resource monitor. Now we have set it as thousand credit quota. Now we have to choose the monitor type. I told right we, monitor type can be at, at account level or warehouse level. Suppose I am choosing it at virtual warehouse level. Okay. So whenever you choose warehouse then immediately one more option will come suppose if you choose account there is no because it will be tracking the credit uses consumed by all the virtual warehouses but if i want to set it for if i want to track the credit usage for particular monitor for particular virtual warehouse then i have to select as warehouse and for which warehouse you want to track the usage suppose i want to track the usage for two okay uh, virtual warehouse HR and warehouse IT. That's why I have selected two, two of the virtual warehouse. Now we have to choose the schedule. We have to set the schedule. So whenever we don't we don't customize the schedule by default, it will start at the immediately. It will start immediately and it will never ending and reset back monthly. That means at the end of the calendar month or the beginning of the next calendar month it will reset back to zero so suppose uh, by end of this month that means 31st january if the credit quota reached to uh, some 500 or 600 credits the next day that means on the first of february again it will reset back to zero okay so that is the default schedule whatever here mentioned is the default schedule otherwise if i want to sh customize this schedule i want to uh, schedule different uh, frequency then what i have to do so we have to click on this customize then so we can set like immediately or we can set some custom start date and custom end date and uh, i can even specify the range that means track the uses in the in some particular range like that we have to set these properties so now i am choosing this uh, default schedule only and now let's come to the actions so so i told right there will be three types of actions suspend immediately so what this will do and notify suspend immediately and notify so we have to set some percentage of credits used suppose let's come to the alert notifications first so this is the just notification alert so i can add alerts up to five so see you can see there are one two three four five notify actions i told right while explaining the uh, actions part we can set up to one 
suspend action, one suspend immediately action and up to five notify actions. Okay, so I don't want this many for your understanding. I just uh, created this. I am re removing this. Okay, <coughs> so I want to set at 50%. I want to send a notification. Okay, Where once the half of the quota is consumed, I want to send a notification and once the 3 by 4th of the quota that means 75 percent of credits are consumed then send a notification okay and at the 90 percent or 95 percent okay suspend suspend the uh, virtual warehouses and once the 100 percent quota is reached okay then suspend immediately after that don't consume any credits that means after thousand i don't want to credit I don't want to consume any more credits that that's why suspend all the virtual warehouses running immediately okay so i hope you are understanding so whenever we are setting this uh, credit quota as a uh, thousand right suppose if it reached to 500 credits 50 percent right <laughs> whenever it reaches to 50 percent that means whenever 500 uh, credits consumed it will send one alert notification i will show you how the notifications uh, to be enabled okay and uh, after the 750 credits consumed that means 75 percent of thousand seven 750 credits consumed it will say alert it will send one more alert notification and whenever it reaches to 95 percent or 90 percent so it will suspend the virtual warehouses it will only suspend and uh, all the current tasks running will be uh, completed but whenever you choose suspend immediately even the running tasks or running queries will get cancelled immediately. So I want to do that at the 100%. I hope now you are understanding actions. So we can send any notifications up to 5. Okay. And we can set one suspend action and one suspend immediately action. Okay. And create this resource monitor. That's it. Okay. I hope you are understanding. Let me explain one more time. So we have to choose the name of the uh, resource monitor. We have to set some credit quota. We have to choose the type of uh, uh, monitor account level or virtual warehouse level. And then we have to sh uh, go with the, we, we can go with the default schedule or we can customize the schedule and we can specify the actions here. OK, so like that we can create the resource monitor. OK, so this is by using the web interface. Suppose if I want to if I want to cr uh, create this resource monitor by using SQL. So this is the query. So it is simple create or replace resource monitor put some name. Okay with so we have to specify the properties now create or replace ma resource monitor create or replace resource monitor and the resource monitor name with these properties. So whatever we just set, set right. In the web interface we have to set the same here in the sql credit quota frequency start timestamp end timestamp notify users suppose if i want to send uh, notifications to particular users okay uh, i i can s specify those user uh, usernames here okay notify users and uh, triggers so trigger definition i have to keep so what is meant by trigger whatever the actions we specified right he just now like uh, on 50 percent okay on 50 percent do notification on 70 percent do notification notify on 90 percent do suspend on 100 percent do suspend immediate like that we have to specify the trigger actions okay so this is how we can create the resource monitor create or replace resource monitor specify the name with these properties okay so here the this triggers is very important i will i will explain this with one example later okay now so in the previous step i have created a, a resource monitor but i haven't assigned if you see i am not choosing any uh, virtual warehouse or at lock account level i am not choosing here so but in the web interface we have chosen like uh, what are the virtual warehouses it has to track we have chosen but here we are not choosing so how we can choose those uh, uh, virtual warehouses or how we can assign the virtual warehouses to the monitor okay 
we can assign the uh, assigned by using below alter statement okay so if you are if you are using web interface you can do there itself but if you are uh, writing sql queries to create the resource monitor then after creating the resource monitor you have to write one more alter statement to assign the virtual warehouses to the resource monitor okay so the sql is like alter warehouse okay alter warehouse warehouse name suppose in our case alter warehouse warehouse sample warehouse set resource monitor equals to so whatever the resource monitor we just set uh, we we have created so we have to uh, choose that resource monitor name here like that we can assign the same resource monitor to any number of virtual warehouses okay if i want to set the, this at account level i will show you how to do that but uh, I, I hope you got to know how we can assign the virtual warehouses to resource monitor like this alter warehouse warehouse name set resource monitor equals to monitor name we'll show you this practically so suppose <coughs> if i want to modify my resource monitor if i want to change the properties if i want to change the credit quota or action or the schedule so how we can do so we can modify our resource monitor by you can modify the following properties of an existing resource monitor so we can increase or decrease the credit quota <coughs> sorry we can increase or decrease the credit quota for the monitor if the monitor is monitoring your account convert it to individual virtual warehouses we can do if the monitor is monitoring the individual warehouses we can convert it to account level uh, if i want to change the schedule uh, frequency or start or end properties i can change uh, if i want to add or remove actions or modify the percentage threshold percentage i can do by using this <coughs> alter command okay so modifying the monitor we can specify we can modify the properties of a monitor from web user interface or by using below alter statement so so from web interface also i can edit that resource monitor whatever we just created we can edit that monitor and we can set the properties like we can change the credit quota we can change the schedule or we can change the actions okay like that we can change the properties of a resource monitor or if i want to do by sql so this is the statement same as create but uh, just we have to specify alter alter resource monitor resource monitor name and set so if i want to change the credit quota i can just set this property i don't need to set all these properties so whatever the values i want to change only i can choose that so if i want to change only if i want to increase the credit quota to other number i can specify only this property these are all not required if i want to change the action okay then i can just set set triggers and the trigger definition i can set okay i don't need to specify all the properties whatever the property i want to modify i can choose only that property in the alter query okay i hope you understood we'll see this practically as well so how we can create a monitor at account level this is simple first of all we have to create a resource monitor then we have to assign that resource monitor for our account a resource monitor can be set for our account through either web interface again so we just seen right while i was showing how we can create a resource monitor from a web ui i shown we can choose simply as account okay or by using this uh, uh, alter account statement we can set that at account level alter account this is the keyword alter account set resource monitor equals to the resource monitor name simple query if i want to set resource monitor at account level simple alter account set resource monitor equals to monitor name so this is how we can set the resource monitor at the account level okay so this is about the theory of uh, resource monitor let me summarize okay so what is a resource monitor so if we want to track the usage of uh, credits consumed by the virtual warehouses or at account level so we can create the resource monitor okay and we have to set these properties for the resource monitor like a credit quota 
and we have to choose the monitor type account level or virtual warehouse level and we can use the default schedule or we can customize the schedule by using these properties like frequency start and end and we have to specify the actions there are three types of actions notify and suspend notify and suspend immediately and only notify with some notifications okay so this is the example i have explained and uh, so suppose uh, uh, if any virtual warehouse gets suspended how you can resume so you have to perform one of these actions to resume the virtual warehouses okay this is how we can create the resource monitor and this is how we can assign the virtual warehouses to monitor so i prefer web user interface for doing all these things rather than sql okay so if we want to set any properties if we want to update any properties of the resource monitor we can modify by using uh, uh, this alter statement or we can do that by uh, web interface okay if i want to set at account level so this is the statement uh, sql statement to set the resource monitor at account level let's see the lab part now so <coughs> So I have uh, created some examples. Okay, how we can resource monitor for different scenarios. Okay, so my first example is to create a monitor that starts monitoring immediately. So I want a, re a resource monitor that starts monitoring immediately, resets at the beginning of each and every each month. So it has to reset at the beginning of the month. So this is like the default schedule and suspense. The assigned warehouse when the usage credits reach to 100% of the credit quota. Okay, so whenever it reaches to 100% of the credit quota, it has to only suspend. Okay, so for this scenario, I want to set a resource monitor. How I can set? So by using web use user interface also we can set, or by using this SQL query also we can set. It. So I have already shown you how we can create a resource monitor by using. Uh, web user interface now i will show you how we can do the same by using the sql queries so first of all uh, only account admins or the users that have admin privileges only can create the resource monitor that's why i'm saying use uh, uh, role account admin and then create or replace resource monitor i'm giving the monitor name as monitor one with okay so credit quota 500 so i just want to set the credit quota as 500 credits and the triggers i i have i have explained right if i want to set some uh, actions i can set the actions by using the uh, keyword triggers on 100 percent on 100 percent do suspend so this is our requirement right whenever it it reaches to 100 percent credit quota reaches to 100 percent just suspend that so triggers on 100 percent do suspend okay so, uh, so by using this uh, statement we can create that uh, uh, monitor and I want to assign this monitor to the warehouse right so the, how we can do that by using the alter statement alter warehouse uh, for sample warehouse I want to set this monitor so I am choosing my warehouse name as a sample warehouse and set resource monitor equals to whatever the monitor we just have created monitor one okay so let's execute this okay so come to worksheets okay so i'm just running this sql so this is completed we'll see all the uh, resource monitor later first let's go through the examples okay so the example two is to create a monitor that is similar to the above example okay but suspense at the 90 percent and suspense immediately at the 100 percent okay so i so i want to create a resource monitor like the above example but here the requirement is changed whenever it reaches to 90 percent you suspend you just suspend but whenever the quota is reached to 100 percent then suspend immediately okay i want to set two types of uh, two types of actions here so the same example create or replace a resource monitor monitor 2 okay with credit quota here my requirement is 1000 i am setting 1000 triggers on 90 percent 
do suspend so on 90 percent okay do suspend on 100 percent do suspend immediately okay so this is how we can set then we can assign this uh, resource monitor to this warehouse here now i want to set uh, this resource monitor to my warehouse with the name warehouse underscore finance okay so let's do this okay resource monitor created and got assigned okay now the third example <coughs> so now it is same as above example okay so here my requirement is whenever the credit quota reach to 50 percent just notify send a notification okay so if we don't specify any users here it will send the notification to all the account administrators or whoever has the admin privileges okay on 50 percent send notification on 75 percent send notification on 100 percent do suspend okay so here in the example they have clearly given okay so whenever the warehouse uses exceeds the quota by 10 percent that means we are setting it uh, suppose uh, suppose let's set it to thousand only okay so whenever it exceeds to 10 percent that means more than thousand that means 10 percent exceeding 100 means 110 percent so on 110 percent do suspend immediate so this is the requirement to create a monitor for on so in the halfway we have to set a notification and when three by fourth credits consumed we have to send another notification and we have to suspend on the uh, hundred percent <coughs> and whenever it it exceeds uh, uh, ten percent more than the credit quota then suspend immediate so this is how we can set on fifty percent do notify on seventy five percent do notify on hundred percent do suspend on one ten percent that means exceeding the quota so on one ten percent suspend immediate okay so let's create this okay so this is how we can set suppose the in the next example to create a monitor that starts immediately based on the current timestamp resets monthly on the same day and has no end date or time and suspends the assigned warehouse when the credit usage reaches to 100% quota so here uh, i don't want to use okay uh, the default schedule i want to customize my schedule okay so how you can do that by specifying the frequency and uh, start timestamp okay create or replace resource monitor monitor name with the credit quota as some 1000 okay frequency equals to monthly start timestamp immediately so, so today is uh, first uh, 21st january right so it is whenever we are starting immediately what will happen and we are choosing the frequency as monthly so again on february 21st it will reset back to zero so this is how we can set the customized schedule so whenever whenever i say weekly here instead of monthly what it will do so on 28th 28th of january it will reset back to zero okay so like that based on the frequency we are setting uh, the credit quota will reset back to zero so start timestamp we can say immediately or we can say if i want to start it from tomorrow i have to uh, specify the date and time as tomorrow okay 22nd january 2023 like that and our requirement is used credit reaches to 100 percent then suspend the assigned warehouses so that's why on 100 percent do suspend okay so this is how we can create resource monitor for the customized schedule okay so i hope you are understanding the examples suppose i if i want to start uh, 
this example 5 is uh, same as above example but i want to start it uh, like uh, on uh, 25th of january and i want to uh, reset it back weekly okay so my monitor frequency is weekly and i want to start it uh, from 25th of january and uh, whenever it reaches to 80 percent i want to suspend okay so he just read this whenever it reaches to 80 percent i want to suspend and on 100 percent i want to suspend it immediately so this is my okay um, requirement and so in in my example it is saying at different thresholds and two assigned warehouses i want to assign the same uh, resource monitor for two of the virtual warehouses so i i have created a warehouse like i have created a resource monitor like this with uh, two different actions suspend and suspend immediate okay and i am assigning the same monitor for two virtual warehouses how alter warehouse warehouse marketing set resource monitor equals to monitor 5 the same way alter warehouse warehouse hr set resource monitor equals to monitor 5 so here this resource monitor 5 will be tracking the credits consumed by both virtual warehouses virtual warehouse marketing and warehouse hr okay so let's create the same so i have created this warehouse I am assigning it to I have created the resource monitor and I am assigning it to virtual warehouse monitoring marketing and I am assigning it to virtual warehouse HR. Okay, so it is completed. So this is how we can create a different resource monitors based on the requirement given. Okay, so suppose if I want to increase the credit limit of a resource monitor, how we can do? suppose for the virtual for the resource monitor monitor 5 i have given the credit quota as 2000 now if i want to increase it to 3000 so this is the statement alter resource monitor monitor 5 set credit quota equals to 3000 i want to increase the credit quota to 3000 so how we can do simple simple query okay so the last example create account create account level resource monitor suppose if i want to create account level monitor that means if i have five or six warehouses for all the warehouses i want to create a single resource monitor at account level okay so we can create like this create resource monitor monitor account with credit quota as 10000 because we are combining all the uh, monitors all the warehouses right that's why i am giving a, a quota as 10000 and trigger a notification trigger a notification on 90% and uh, uh, suspend the warehouse on 100% consumption okay so like this and how we can set it account level so i already explained while explaining the presentation alter account set resource monitor equals to whatever the monitor we have created okay let's see So this is simple okay now we have created resource monitor different uh, resource monitor now if I want to see all those resource monitor how I can see so there are two options by from web interface we can see or by using this show resource monitor we can see let's see so here you can see all the resource monitor details so we have created uh, seven resource monitors as of now right monitor one monitor two monitor three with the credit quota different credit quotas and so here we can see how many credits consumed as of today so as we are not running any queries uh, in by using those virtual warehouses it's all zero now okay so how many credits uh, still we have so this is uh, the monitor level virtual warehouse or account level so we have created one account level and five virtual warehouse level and for one warehouse we just created we did not set anything okay so and here we can see the frequency start time end time 
notify at uh, which percentage suspend at which percentage suspend immediate at which percentage and uh, when it was when the resource month was created and who has created that resource monitor okay so if i want to set any users for a notification so this is how okay <coughs> so this is how we can see the virtual warehouse monitor uh, this is how we can see the resource monitor and its properties so if i want to see the same at a web interface by using web interface this is how we can see okay go to home admin click on resource monitor see here you can see the same details okay and suppose if i want to drop the resource monitor suppose uh, when i in future when i feel there is no use of this uh, resource monitor any of the resource monitor how we can drop so from here also we can drop or by using this a simple sql query drop resource monitor monitor one we can drop suppose if you want to see <coughs> See, I'm dropping the resource monitor monitor one and come back here and just refresh so here monitor one was there and I have removed it now whenever you refresh it's got removed okay so this is how you can create or uh, you can assign or you can drop the virtual uh, uh, the resource monitor every time I'm getting virtual warehouse only sorry for that okay so i hope you understood the concept of resource monitor and uh, i will attach all these queries uh, all these examples in the description of this video you can uh, get them and you can practice them okay thank you bye